there are not found that return to give glory to God save this stranger. He was a Samaritan. That's the reason he called him a stranger. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way. Thy faith has made thee whole. It wasn't what Jesus never controlled it, Jonathan, and never said, You get off of them leprosy, you spirit of sickness or disease. They was a standing afar off and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And he did. But that was the reason they was a father and that that uh, troop of people there was because that they had faith that if they could get his attention that they would be healed. Jesus never said, I healed you. He said, your faith has made you whole. Where do we get faith? Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Amen. Don't take too much of it up because you need to hear all of it you can because that's where you get faith at. Amen. Now, let's go to Luke chapter 18. Verse 35. And it came to pass that as Jesus was come nigh unto Jericho, and a certain blind man sat by the wayside begging, and hearing the multitude pass by, he asked what it meant, and they told him that Jesus of Nazareth passed by. See, he could hear that, Jonathan. He is blind, but he couldn't see what was going on. He said, boys, what's going on here? What's this mean here? And they told him that Jesus of Nazareth passed by, and he cried, saying, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. He didn't pray and fast for three weeks and doeth out food and all this, that, and other. Have mercy on me. And they which went before rebuked him, that he should hold his peace. See, they rebuked that guy. Hush up. You don't need to be a bothering Jesus about this deal. You're this blind and old blind as a bad guy. You don't be a bothering him. But he cried so much more. Don't mean he's crying tears. It means he's a holler. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stood and commanded them to be brought unto him. And when he was come near he asked him, saying, What will thou that I do for thee? And he said, Lord, that I may receive my sight. Ain't that good? Now look here what he said. That guy told him, he said, I want to be able to see. And Jesus said to him, We'll receive your sight. Your faith's made you whole. He heard that Jesus was coming that way. He couldn't see, but he was listening. He was listening, hearing that the word was coming. See, Jesus is the word. He heard that he was coming. And then he hollered, went to holler, and he asked him, he said, he said, what's all this racket going on here? And they told him, said, that's Jesus of Nazareth passing by. He cried out, and he said, have mercy on me, thou son of David, Jesus. And then what happened? Jesus seen that faith. And he said, Jesus said, what do you want me to do for you, buddy? And he said, I won't be able to see. And Jesus said, well, receive. And see, because your faith has saved you or made you whole. And immediately he received his sight and followed him, glorifying God and all the people when they saw it gave praise unto God. There's a whole lot of stuff in this book about healing, ain't there? Do we want to tape it up or leave it untaped? Let's go to Acts chapter 3. Acts chapter 3. I'm just kind of shotgunning you scriptures here and yonder, but I guess that'll be all right. Acts chapter 3, verse 3. Who seeing Peter and John, well, I'll start verse 2. Verse 1, Now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. That was 9 o'clock in the morning, apparently. And a certain man lame from his mother's womb, he'd been crippled from birth. They had to carry him out there, who they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called beautiful to ask alms or to beg money of people that entered into the temple. He knowed that the church people usually used to then, I guess. Well, no, not really had a soft spot to 
pretty easy touch, you know, to give money to you if you was blind or crippled or lame or whatever. And he was set up there to, before they was going to pray. He was setting up there in the line of the people that were supposed to have a good heart in them. And when he seen Peter and John about to go into the temple, he bummed them. He asked them for some alms or asked them for some money. And Peter fastened his eyes up on him with John said, look on us. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them. He expected them to put some money in his cup. Then Peter said, silver and gold have I none. Now them guys had some money too, but I mean, what he was trying to tell him is that silver and gold ain't going to take care of your problem, doctor. 